Indonesian football culture draws inspiration from all over the world and they have inspiration from not only their own community but also from North Africa, from North America, from South America, from Italy, from England, from everywhere. But why do people call Bali the England of Indonesia? Here is why I think so. So the chance that they sing in Bali is not only in English but also a chance which are popularized by English clubs. One of the prime examples are You'll Never Walk Alone. And there are six such chants, I think, which maybe is the reason why people from other parts of Indonesia refer to Bali as the England of Indonesia. Uh, go check out the video, you can see why. So I already spoke of You'll Never Walk Alone and you know most people think that this is a, a chant which originated in Liverpool but actually this is a chant which is by an American band called Jerry and the Pacemakers and it was consequently adopted by Liverpool, Celtic, Dortmund and even Bali. And if you probably notice, Bali have their own tune and beat to it which makes it even more authentic to Indonesia maybe. <laughs> One is we love you Bali we do we love you Bali we do and this chant is extremely popular in English terraces but I really don't know where this originated from but from what I've heard from a friend of mine um, who's an old timer in English football and currently resides in Indonesia Jakarta casual you can check out his Twitter and he says that he first spotted this tune in a Manchester City video in 1981 a documentary which was about the then Manchester City struggling and uh, the chant for Manchester City is We love you city, we do, we love you city, we do. chant is another absolutely famous chant in football and it's another adaptation of an English terrace but you think that it's from England but it's not it's it's not by Southampton it's not you know just because it's named uh, when the Saints go marching in it's not a Southampton original song it originates from America again and this is by another famous jazz artist called Louis Armstrong and this chant has, of course, been popularized everywhere around the world, not just in England, when, you know, it's natural only for Bali to be adopting it. And there are other Indonesian clubs who do that as well.
So the fourth chant is another blockbuster popular chant from the English terraces and it's been popularized by the England national team fans. You know, they sing the song, I'm England till I die, I'm England till I die, I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm England till I die. And Bali sing the same thing with Bali till I die. And this song is not actually from football, it's actually from, uh, from an English sitcom serial in the 1979 and 1980s, I think so. And I don't remember the name, if I look it up, it's called Only When I Laugh. And the opening tune of this particular sitcom has the same tune. Na 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 And that's how football got the popular tune. So the fifth chant you've probably heard when England is playing and if, if you're watching it on TV or you're in the stadium in Wembley, oh, 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 England belongs to me. So they had the same thing with Bali as well. And uh, it's a song which is extremely popular in football and it's uh, by this band called Cox Parra, which is a band which uh, belongs to the sub-genre of punk rock, which is Oi, and is extremely popular all over the world, not just among football fans, but also amongst uh, fans, who, of, fan, fans of punk rock. And in Indonesia, they have a huge punk rock scene, especially an oil scene, and uh, it's natural that uh, this song has been adopted by uh, Indonesian football clubs as well. And it's not just in Bali that they sing it, they sing it everywhere, in Bandung, in Jakarta, everywhere. The final chant which I feel makes football fans in Indonesia believe that Bali is sort of like England is another uh, chant adopted from a song by an oi band called Booze and Glory. So this is a relatively new oi band compared to Cox Parrot and Booze and Glory is a band which is a uh, pronounced West Ham United fan. West Ham not only has a huge following in Indonesia but also again as I said the oi subculture has a huge following in Indonesia so combine those two and you have the perfect mix for a song which is adopted not just in Bali but also all over Indonesia as well.
definitely to me, Bali is the Bali of Indonesia because in Bali, in the, when it comes to football, the Balinese fans, they bring the culture of Balinese people to the football as well. So, you know, they might be drawing some influence from England and other parts of the world, which every other fan club uh, in the world does. But uh, they also have their own intrinsic style, which makes it very authentic Bali. And, you know, if you come to Bali and watch a game in uh, the North Tribune with the Northside boys, or if you're sitting in the stadium just by itself, and I feel you'll have a better atmosphere than most atmospheres in England, by the way. So, Bali is the Bali of Indonesia, and that's how you should be knowing it.